All right, guys, we're going ready right now. Semi-final, the other one. We'll see if this one goes by just as quickly as the first one. And here we go right now, Soul Bladder. Let me make sure that I've got my chase cam properly set up here for this first round. We've got Slowy with the bomb up here so far. BBB on the first round for the offense, and holy crap. Shots is going everywhere. We're seeing Odd try to stab in from behind, but he doesn't have a great angle for doing rails, but he's able to get in some grenade damage at the very least. But Sick Monkey is able to take down a couple dudes. Sure, the bomb was planted, but at what cost? Every man on your team and a very quick defuse. It's going to be lost to Nirvana picking up the first round. Right in. Trading one awkward announcer for another awkward one. Deal with it. All right, but here we go. Second round up. Watching slowly with the bomb at the moment. As they cut over to the left hand. Man, I haven't seen this map in a while. But good damage coming out of slowly here with LG. He's going to get knocked on down, however. Ice Luck, sorry, is going to be able to get him knocked on down. So, got the bomb picked back up by Midget. Who's also going to be left in the grave. We have one player left on the offense. It's not going to be happening. Sick Monkey is going to be able to nail that down and make this a very quick... 2-0. Quick, other than, you know, timeouts and shit. So Lost and Nirvana in the lead at the moment. And nobody wants to move out of the spawn. They're waiting for the jump pad sound. Looks like B is going to be the place to be. Slowly taking it away. Has a few other players coming in from the other side as they converge back in. Beautiful movement. We should have a drop and a plant here very soon. Puffed are coming in a little bit late, but yeah, it's going to be a literal uphill fight for them. He's able to take down Soul Blighter, trying to make these grenades do the work, but in the meantime, he's getting LG down by Perina. It's going to be traded frags here. But with the bomb already up, he's looking for this defuse. We have one player left on the offensive side. It's going to be Midget getting in beautiful rails, but man, he just cannot get an angle. He fell down, could not make anything else work for him, and that's going to be a defuse, making a 3-0. Oh man, these low sense dudes, yeah. Alright, but slowly with the bomb again. Very good rocket. Midget coming back in here. Taking a few frags away. They're keeping it close, keeping it even here, but here comes Puftar. He's got two against one, but Isaac Sari's gonna be helping out. Puftar's down, Isaac Sari's out. Oh my god. Beautiful first point for these guys coming in. They can't be complaining about ping on their own server. I'll throw a little bit of trash in there. Why not? But that was a damn good round for VVV there. Took them a few rounds to get a point up on the board, but that was a significant one. Just intense fights there. Bomb not even a factor there. But they may not be able to make it happen again. We have Odd coming around the back here. Bomb's been planted. But man, he gets completely faced as he tries to come into the bomb site. Again, uphill battle. Once you can get in on a bomb site, you know, it really turns into less of, of fighting all of the defensive players out of the bomb site and more about making sure they never get in on the first place. It's, it's such a big map that compared to maps like Bomb 1, you really do have to commit to one or the other sites a little bit more. Especially with only 5v5. 6v6 would be another story. But here you're kind of forced to make that difficult decision. Midget with the bomb right now. Making his way back in here, it has the drop. Oh. But we haven't seen the plant just yet. Good damage coming out of Odd. Able to take down Midget. And that'll be another defensive point for VVV. Five up on one. All right, so Perina. With the bomb in hand. Making a very quick play over towards B. Keeping over to the left-hand side, but we already have some spam coming in. Because it's such a big map, you see a little bit less play in mid. And much more focused on the bomb sites. But that's going to allow the drop to happen. We still have five players up on the offense. And the bomb's going to be planted there. My god, they're absolutely decimating this round so far. Mid is going to be knocked on down. 
That'll be two on two. Here comes NTC to try to even the score a bit and maybe go for this defuse, but he's only at 22 health. Farina can LG him down very quickly. One on two. And that'll be a second to offensive point for VVV. So keeping it relatively close. Midget with the bomb once again. He got him pretty quickly there. He allowed that plant to happen. But there's Puffdar pushing way forward to just shove Midget back in his place. Perina's going to be able to team up with him, though. Take him down. Puffdar being such a key player there that losing him so early in this round does not bode well for Lost in Nirvana. But if Odd can't make any LG, that's not going to be helping much either. So three on five, they brought it within two rounds. Flatterous. Not giving the bomb back over to Midget. It's going to be waiting here for everybody to he head back over on B. And we don't see too many players over on B. Just uh, two or three? It's like, oh no, they're all there. They're all up on the upper rafters, though. They're all ready for this initial damage, but this grenade spam is actually proving to be pretty effective there. Two players left on the defense. Odd trying to stay alive, but just like last round, he's not really hitting all that much. Midget gets the plant. Two health left for him. Only one defensive player is going to be Odd running for his life, but that last grenade takes him on down. So they almost have this tied back up. Soul Blighter with the bomb. They're kind of not too picky about who's picking it up this time around. So he's going to be coming around the long way. Trying to sneak in here. Has a lower floor plant. Odd doesn't really know where he wants to be right now. Midget's taking aggression from every angle, but that puts them all in one tight spot there. We have a lot of offensive players being knocked on down. Lost to Nirvana doing well, but man, Purina by himself. But we have the plant and a lot of time on it already. Can Odd actually make this defuse? Well, with the teammate, will certainly help. Sick Monkey. There to get the defuse as well. Six on four. Six rounds to the side swap. But this is a much closer game already than the last semifinal. Lol. So slowly coming in here with the bomb. Having to take the slow way around because his movement is just not on target, but Isaac Sari is going to be knocked on down by that rocket. Just getting in the way of slow is not a good idea. Puffdar, though, able to take him down and drop the bomb in a terrible spot. Really awkward place to try to pick that back up. So it's going to be another point up for the defense. Lost to Nirvana pulling away four on seven. Midget now with the bomb. <laughs> getting mad at people getting in his way. <laughs> He's trying to move fast. This Warsaw, you gotta go fast. But no, you don't clip through your teammates. Oof. Oof. There was not much to say in that one. That was just kind of wrecking. Lost Nirvana pulling full wrecking ball to right now. Four on eight. Four rounds to the side switch. We have Soul Blighter with the bomb. And moving back through A very quickly. He might not be going for the plant there, but it's been dropped down at the very least. They're kind of committed at this point. Where's the plant going to come from? Not going to come from anywhere. Sit Monkey's going to hump crates as everybody else makes frags. Yeah, I don't really do Unreal Tournament. I like I like games with good maps. Unreal Tournament's not a bad game. It just has bad maps. That's all. That's all. Anyway, four on nine. You have the bomb getting planted here. We're just gonna be able to make this frag happen against Puffdar again. Getting Puffdar out of there is such a huge link to break open on Lost in Nirvana's play. But Midget needs to survive this next fight and get back to the bomb to play some defense. Oh! Ah, uh, just Goombaing Midget is throwing out that LG. Ah, uh, that was messy. Yeah, Midget acknowledges that, but man, Midget now slowly crawling out of the spawn, letting everybody get ahead of him. They're trying.
trying to listen for the best way to go. Midget again just getting run into people. Coming in on this. Oh, but he cannot make the jump. But fortunately, his teammate eats the shot for him. He's able to get one beautiful rail. Almost gets the second one, but at least he gets the plant here. Nice damage there. Oh, my God. Absolute decimation. So that little pause and coming over to the bomb side A really helped them out. And the upper plant, even though Midget almost didn't make it up on top of the platform, really worked out. But now we have the side swap. So just as Midget and crew pulled together a really solid offensive strat, the tables are now turned. Nine on six. Puffed out with the bomb. Oh, oh my god, that speed. Gotta go fast for sure. But he hits one guy and he loses all his rings. We have a full five-man plant here from Lost in Nirvana. And now it's a sweeping house, taking away the rest of VVV very, very quickly. So Puftar with the bomb here once again. Lost in Nirvana very consistent with the uh, bomb choices. And with Puftar moving like that, who could blame him? God, that's beautiful. Moving around any Warsaw map when you don't know how to move is a frustrating experience, but once you get it down, oh my god, there's nothing better. Puptar getting a little bit weak here, getting knocked on down, and he cannot escape Midget's LG. Here comes Isaac Sorry to try to bring things back up, but it's not going to happen. Midget giving a little dance for joy. I always love seeing dancing midgets. Seven on ten, three points between them. Puptar with the bomb as we get started in this next round. Ooh, Puptar crossing A to head over to B. If he can maintain his speed, he's a little bit slower here, but he's nice and smooth. He's got it. No, the crates. Oh, no. That could cost him. But he's still coming through here. And look at this. Now everybody else has to follow Puftar. That was the way to do it. Cut through A. Be the fastest one to get to B. Midge is finally able to take down Puftar, but this might not be enough time. Not enough men to make this de uh, defuse happen. Uh, where's the damage going to come from? We have nobody left alive here. There we have it. Midget getting the defuse. So 10 on 8. Again, keeping it close. Puffed our speed again. Just unstoppable. Unless he gets a grenade to the face. That, that's a pretty good way to stop anybody. Warsaw still has one extra mechanic other than the, uh, than the wall jumping. That's if you take a hit. You know, you can't dash your wall jump. Which is very effective in duel, just because if somebody just keeps their speed going, they could just, like, run laps around the map. But it's still effective, you know, in game types like this. So a lot of people really hate the uh, the stun mechanic, but really, it, without it, uh, the, the, the skill balance would be way out of whack. You need to be able to stop somebody moving somehow, especially when Puftar is sliding through like this, but he's... Didn't cut through A this time, but we only see one player down here at B, and it looks like Odd is able to distract everybody else from Puftar's plant. There it is. And he should be still alive. No, he's going to be killing himself to take down Soul Blighter, but that'll be everybody dead on VVV. 12 on 8, keeping it well away from them. Four points to the match point. So Puftar again, going very quickly to B. Cutting through mid here. But oh my god. Oh, look at this. It's going to be Midget versus Puftar. Ah, oh, Midget has his number. He's figured him out. He doesn't even get anywhere near the bomb site. Now, this should be. It, this should still be. Th this. Th oh, man. This should be a VVV point. Should be a VVV point. Ah. Uh, I'll be mad if it isn't. Sit monkey with the bomb. Ah, I'm mad. I'm mad. Slowy shouldn't have been the last one alive there. Like, the way Slowy plays, he's not a guy who, like, sticks around after everybody else is dead. He's going to be, like, the first one to go down. That's because he's going to be in the middle of that mosh pit. But, man, Midget's play there was just perfect against Puftar. But now this play on A. 
It's going to be a little bit more decisive. Aw, getting some good damage in. Here comes the plan. Three on three now. And there it is. And they're all up top here. They have all the height advantage. Odd can pick this really awkward position and make it really difficult for anybody to get in on the bomb site. Ugh. Nice. So Odd was in the right place. That was a very good play from him. But they're waiting it out this time, giving a bit of delay. Not taking any damage from those grenades, amazingly enough, as they come back into A, and here it is, but they've got two guys up there. Odd's going to be knocked down. He's not going to be too useful. Trying to throw in some grenades to do a little bit of damage for his team, but he's stuck down here. Even so, there's still the bomb plant. Three on three. Puftar taken down slowly. Midget's going to get the return, though, and Perina may be the one to, to secure this point for VVV. Nope, nope. NTC comes back in and makes this 15 on eight match point for Lost to Nirvana. So let's see where Puptar heads this time. Potentially the last time. Take a bit of a slow play, but you know, Midget comes back into this position to keep Puptar from having a really easy way to get on on the bomb site. Everybody else just kind of follows Midget though. Like Midget had an important position, but not the only position to have. So as Midget left that up, nobody else should have been there. Nobody else should have been there. Oh, there we go. Eight on 16. Let's do this. As a swallow down shards of cough drop, because that's how you're supposed to do it, right? Ugh, cut your throat with the shards. <laughs> All right, so let me get my... Uh... Again, I don't know why it wants to change that every single time, but sick monkey with the bomb. <laughs> A little pit under the, the container. That's just cool. That's cool. Alright, but Prina and Vladris making the initial frags here. Soul Blighter picking it up as well, making a very quick first point for VVV. Again, last round. Very decisive for Lost of Nirvana at 8 to 16. Puptar with the bomb now. And man, I don't mind having my camera on him at all. His movement is just so much fun. Oh, Crisis. Okay. Oh, Crisis throwing out some trash shock on the way the maps look. Yeah, yeah. It, it, they're beta maps. They're beta new maps that are being welcomed and being played by your community, dude. Having people make maps that get played in tournaments is a good thing. <laughs> oh, Crisis. All right, so Puffs are taking away the bomb. So screw you, stairs. I take you 20 at a time. Ah, uh, but Soul Blighter trying to hold him down, but man, unlike Midget, it doesn't look like Soul Blighter was ready for what he was getting stuck in. Soul Blighter saw Puftar coming down the corner and immediately had regrets. Puftar putting the bomb down here. Yeah, great play, sure, but man, it's going to be difficult to get out of there alive. But now that it's down, it's going to be difficult to defuse without just being open to a ton of spam. Purina left alive. We're getting sick. No, against NTC, it's going to be NTC picking away the frag and taking away a second point for Lost in Nirvana. <laughs> yeah, EM Town's okay. It's okay. Pretty sure, but flow's well, kind of weird. It looks like it would be better as an enemy territory map. Sand. Anyway. <laughs> Two on one here, Lost in Nirvana. Puftar just taking away all sorts of damage. Ooh, and now eating a little bit from a Soul Blighter. Down to two HP. Somebody's got to lay that bomb. But man, he's just staying alive here. He's not really doing any damage, but he's going to be wiped out there pretty soon. Two up on two. Tying it up. Puftar doesn't want to give away the bomb to anybody else yet, even as the rest of his team kind of looks awkwardly over at him. Nice. But man, this movement. I will say that so far, there are way too many textures in the map. It could cut down a few and kind of get a more consistent style. Like, the kind of steel with the funky lines block there doesn't really fit in with the stucco, if anything else. 
so. Yeah, but. Yeah. I'm glad it's still a thing that's happening. Two players on two players, though. No odd left by himself. And once again, he's kind of stuck in a crappy position. But holy crap, Midget what, just like backdash like a bat out of hell. But that didn't stop him from odds rail. Beautiful shot. All right, so Puffdar coming up over the top. Maybe going for a high plant here. He's got all the time and all the ability to do so, but he wants to make sure that this corner isn't going to be spammed out by VVB. Bit of a lost cause there. And Vlad's coming in to do some damage. Oh my god, everybody's coming in, wrapping around him. Where's the rest of his team to keep them off his back as he's going in for this plant? He can't get much damage off either. That'll tie it back up 3-3. Three to three. VVB taking it. Puffdar is going to choke a bitch if he can't get through to where he needs to. And as teammates blocking him out, he's like, I got to be the fastest, even though I'm the bomb carry and I can afford to be a little bit late. But no, he's putting a lot of pressure on BBB right now to respond to him, which allows the rest of his time to do free damage as they try to spam down on him. So yeah, that's, that's the right idea. But as you can see, the rest of Lost Nirvana is kind of, you know, hiding out in the back a little bit. Letting Vladris come in and get this frag, get the defuse. Even by himself, this should be completely doable. There we go. Four on three. For the first time, VVV taking a point above Lost in Nirvana. So Puftar taking the less beaten path. Green to take a little bit of spam here. Oh my god, that LG. Very, very nice shot there. Leaving Puftar a little bit weak, but he's still got the bomb drop. Now focusing more on damage. Oh, he up. Oh my god, did that rocket come out of Slowey's butt? Holy shit. He completely had the drop on him. He was completely behind him. He must have a FOV of like 170 to see Puftar behind him. That was crazy. A good shot there. Flatteris still alive as well was Soul Blighter. <laughs> Making it 3-5. Puftar getting a little bit stuck there. Letting everybody go first. Like fine, fine, you guys go. I'll get I'll get stuck on a wall. Nice. So good damage coming out of Lost Nirvana here so far. Two guys left up for VVV. But the rails are being traded here. The bomb is finally back on the court as they go for the plant. There it is. And that'll bring it back within one point for VVV Lost in Nirvana. Puffed up with the bomb. And again, guys, I'm completely, like, medicated right now and not really alive. So I may take a small break during the uh, during the bronze match, if you don't mind. But this has been such a fantastic cup so far. It's such a quality game, you know, it's... There's very little to hate about Warsaw. There was recently a thread on ESR about why people don't play Warsaw, and, and there are some things that have been like recently patched out, but the game's been around for a long time. It kind of does suffer from people played it like five years ago, and they think they know what's up, so they don't play it now. Uh, so hopefully, you know, Steam will bring in some new blood. So again, the challenge will be to help the new blood find some place to be, and uh, and not feel like they're, they're just going to be completely wrecked. I mean, that, that's the most difficult thing, especially with a uh, game as polished and as refined as Warsaw. There's so many options, there's so many things to keep in mind. It's such a, a high-tier Quake game. This is a bad album, Trent. You should feel bad. That's why for all these, like, Lollapalooza tours, he's just been playing, like, fragile stuff, because he knows. He knows. He knows what's better. All right, Puptar getting a little bit of LG in here, but Midget just too strong for him. Odd doing very well as 
well here. There's a great shot of some Lego Gibbs. Vladaris to be able to hold up here with four guys left. BVB holding on to it. Puffed out with the bomb. Playing things out a little bit more slowly now. They're already eating a lot of spam. The slower they play here, the more forward we see people like Soul Blighter and Midget pushing forward and making it really difficult for Puff Dry to get on the bomb site. In fact, we've seen relatively few plants here compared to other maps. But this is exactly the strat that Lost in Nirvana was using very effectively against other teams. Some one guy left for BVB, and it, yeah. Midget just staying alive here, crossing over the pipes, trying to get some damage. He's got everything he needs but a railgun, but he could get one frag in. It's going to be one versus two, one versus one, 12 health left for him. But NTC with the shotgun taking him down, tying it back up six on six. Well, Crisis, just give yourself a raise. Pay yourself more for working on Warsaw. That's the thing to do. Alright, but initial damage coming out here. Puffdar choosing a bit of a different route, coming in through mid instead. But these grenades taking down Sig Monkey, odd. Dude, you can't be killing your own teammates. Well, you can, but you won't, you won't make so many friends that way. Slowly still alive, and that rocket taken down, I suck. Ah, oh, putting VVV back on the top. So a couple more rounds and then we're going to see a side swap. Adren, what are you talking about? Well, after this, I'm probably going to be dead. I'm sick. Sicker than sick monkey. But possibly more alive. Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Nine frags on him. So far, leading the server in frags, we've got Vladaris. Even though the camera's, you know, floating to Otter a lot because he's also got 13 frags. Even though he's killing teammates as well. All right, but Puff on the bomb. <laughs> Waiting it out here. Sick Monkey wants him to come along. Puff goes, no, every time I go out there, I get shot and bad things happen. You know, why do we need to be blowing shit up anyway? I just want to stay here. But, you know, the more he delays, again, I mean, Midget and Soul Blatter just keep pushing more and more forward. And by the time... Puff Dark comes into it. He must be raging. I would be at this point. Like, everybody else goes ahead of, of him down the same corridor, but as soon as Puff Dark decides to go down that corridor, he's getting flooded by Midget and Soul Blighter. Like, how does that work? Be that as it may. Odd left alive here, but oh, Soul Blighter still has one more rocket left for him. Making this 6 9. Which means that where you see a side swap, Perina now on the bomb. We're going to have to see how well they do on the offensive side here. At least, at least Puff Dog can stop banging his head against the wall. It's going to be odd here. We already have a bomb plant from DVD. We're just going to be here throwing off a lot of damage. And down that quarter is Vladaris. It's showing odd that he's got nowhere to go but out. Ooh, that rocket pop bladders getting knocked on out. Soul Blighter fragging himself for it, but so worth it, giving a tenth point to BVV. So now they're waiting out the first few seconds on this. Letting one guy scout ahead before they head over to A. This could be a fairly good move. 
And oddly enough, you know, in this map, like, even the lower entrances to the bomb sites are kind of choky. Man, that leaves one player left alive for PvP. Very brutal and decisive defense there for Lost in Nirvana. Midget with the bomb. Well, let's see if he holds on to it. I like seeing Midget with the bomb. He does some neat shit. Moving over to A, wasting very little time. Almost getting stuck on the ceiling. Oh no, getting stuck on the crate and eating a grenade because of it. But he can drop down and get this plant. Maybe. There it is. He's still alive. Ladder sense of killing himself. He's got to stop that. Odd gets knocked on down. NTC still alive, but Midget can take down Sick here. Midget still alive, even after that push, even after that plant, and they can take away an 11th point. We may say VVV be able to pick up a map here. So Midget once again with the bomb. So far, so good on his end. Oh no! But here comes Ice Sorry. Fortunately for Midget, unlike Puffthar, fortunately for Midget, Midget had some teammates to help him out against I Suck, but Puffthar got his sights on Midget and did not let go. So now four on four here. Puffthar is now out of the running, and we have a bomb plant on B. It's going to be only Odd left alive, but maybe that'll allow. Well, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I had, I had that backwards. Again, I'm just being completely retarded today. And I, I take full responsibility for not caring. I'm just glad to be able to do this. We don't get to see bomb anywhere near often enough. And we've seen a lot of maps today that we just wouldn't usually see in rotation. Which I know Christ has been bitching about, but man, it's been awesome. Because this is a good bomb site here. Puff throws over the top of it, but gets railed by NTC. What? What? Oh, like getting nade spammed by your teammate is one thing. Getting railed when you're defending the bomb? That's just great. That's just fantastic. Uh, so 12 on 8 now. I don't want to know what Puffdar is saying on, on TeamSpeak. Jeez. That's nasty. So very nice midget getting taken on down there by Puffdar. Ah, oh, doing good damage here as well. Sick ends up killing himself though. And Puffdar is down, and that'll be another point up for VVV. We're within the end of this match, guys. Midget with the bomb. Got some other guys asking for a stream. I'm like, man, I've been playing this all week. I can let anything stop that. But honestly, oh my god, dude, odd, odd. Quit railing your teammates. Ugh. Some one dude left. So we're still alive, but it's gonna be that grenade and rocket playing it up. 14 on 8 now. Some midget with the bomb here. Well, those cough drops are doing the trick, but man, I'm getting tired. That's why it was a bad idea to drink the balls, but hey, caffeine's still caffeine. The puffed are doing crazy damage down here in the bomb site, but when he got them caught in a choke point, don't go in the choke point. Don't do that. One guy left here on, yeah. On Lost in Nirvana, it's going to be another point up for VVV. We may see a tiebreaker map here. It's a match point for them. Switching their guns in excitement as Midget pulls through mid here. Taking a fairly direct path to B. And they're going for the plant already. Is anybody going to stop Midget? Holy shit. Completely flawless plant and drop. Vladar is doing really good damage against Lost in Nirvana as well. Getting caught here in the choke point, but coming back around to deny any potential defuses. Puffdar getting revenge on Odd with his rocket there. Man, there's been so many team kills here in this map. Hope we may see the bomb blow. There we go.
Eight on 16. But man, the team kills. Uh, two for Perina. Three for Odd. There you go. Odd making no friends today. Brightly colored. You could tell it was going to move. So that, game, that term is also applied to uh, game design. When you have an element that's interactable and you make sure that it looks a little bit different than the rest of the game that doesn't look interactable. That's really important with games that, you know, are really realistic and have a lot of elements. Like, there may be a door that may be locked, but it looks perfectly like any other door, so you don't color it brightly. So, like, uh, fuck, Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution did this annoying thing. It, like, overdid it. It was, like, every door you could use this, like, bright fucking yellow. But here we go, guys. We're actually live now with one... Uh, Point up on the board already. Sorry, I just needed to finish my little rant there. And we've got Midget with the bomb here on the orange team. Slash female. Going for a bomb site A. BVB doing some good damage here so far. My god. Those hits. Karina trading it out there, but NTC able to take him on down. Karina and Puffdar. I'm sorry, NTC and Puffdar are still alive. But Midget's able to take him on down, leaving Midget by himself. And once again, guys, this is a tiebreaker map. One point up here for BVV so far. Midget has a lot to do to take away this round. Oh, but getting LG from the side is not going to be helping him out. Odd finally manages to figure out what stairs are for and hits the upper tier. So this map is a little bit more 2D than most of the Warsaw Bomb maps, but still, it's much more in-depth than any Counter-Strike map. I know I have, like, two people who I'll be pissing off when I say that. We'll just have to deal with it. Alright, but Midget, some decent hits, but I suck sorry. Needs to really say sorry for railing down odd. Again, what's with the railgun team frags? That's just not cool. Alright, but NTC's gonna be the last one alive. And he's not gonna be there for long. Midget taking him down, making it 2 1, BVV's favor. Here we go. Karina with the bomb. Ooh, failing to make that jump. So he's going to be coming in kind of low to bomb side B. He's got enemies to already deal with down there. We have the drop. We have the plant coming in. There it is. So frags are going to be going pretty evenly each side. Sick Monkey trying to do some damage here. Oh, that last rail really needed to connect. Now he's vulnerable to all sorts of grenades. He really needs to watch out. He's not hitting any of these rails, but they're going for the defuse. Oh, Slowy with the rocket, flushing them out, but we still have the defuse. Ah, oh, very nicely done. Slowy almost coming in to superhero that. Not quite. So that'll tie back up two on two. Can't focus on fucking shit work. Midget going for the plant. There it is, two on two now. NTC is going to be shafted from all sides. Here comes Isaac, sorry, but he's going to be in a shitty, shitty spot. But Perina's going to be LGing Midget as well. All these team frags. That leaves Odd by himself to get the defuse, but it's not going to be a big deal. There it is. She lost to Nirvana, pulling ahead by a single point, but too close to call at the moment as we get started here. Five rounds in. Karina making his way down upper path to B. But kind of slowing down a little bit. He doesn't really have anybody there with him, so he's taking the uh, sneaky play. Uh, doesn't really want to let himself get seen, but there it is. Too late. The door for that is now open. He's already been railed once. We'll see if we even get to see that plan. Yep. Might just still gonna be alive here, but yeah, that bomb's not going anywhere. Oh no, here comes the plant, actually. There it is, and Midget, still alive, but getting railed on down by NTC. It's gonna be traded frags, but it's gonna be a really easy defuse at this point. Alright, so full up here. Lost in Nirvana pulling ahead here a little bit. But still plenty of time for VVV on the offensive side to make something happen. But oh my god, that grenade. Cutting out his momentum, taking a big chunk out of his stack. This is going to be a really messy 
match for BBV here. All of these fights are just completely out of position. But hey, Midget's all right. He just lets Puffdar rocket himself down right on his face. Leaving a one on one odd. Railable here. Okay. Ooh. Down below, he's creeping back up the stairs. It's not about the bomb right now, so it's about finding his opponent. Oh, and Slowy, too slow around the corner. Didn't see Odd creeping up the stairs. Beautiful rail. He had one chance to make that one work. Nicely done. So, a bit of a slow start here for VVV. Prina trying to make his way down to B, but everyone's going to know where he's going by now. So by the time he comes in, yeah, there's already going to be a lot of spam. Already take a lot of damage. 23 health left for him. The bomb isn't anywhere near the bomb site itself. He could do some good defensive damage here with Rails. He really needed that last one, though. This is so dangerous. Midget takes down NTC instead of Prina. Oh, my God. That was a beautiful grenade. Now three players left on the board. That'll be VVV bringing it back up. Midget says my hand is not working. Jeez. Cough drop time. Alright, so... Even frags here so far, getting a lot of trades, but Puffdar getting some really good damage and hasn't been taken down just yet. Oh my god, Slowy. He's gonna be dead. And here comes the bomb getting defused. Sculpt, you don't get to eat. Sorry. So nine rounds in. Lost her Nirvana still in the lead, but just barely. Once again, guys, the overtime rules for bomb state that. You have to be ahead by more than two points in order to take the map. Oh god. Sculpt talk about pad pork. That's the one part of, of Warsaw I just refuse to acknowledge. You're never going to see pad pork on my stream. I like talking about pad pork. I think pad pork's like the worst goddamn thing to ever happen. Other than that, Warsaw's pretty amazing. Oh man, this damage coming from Odd here. Ah, oh, that beautiful position. Again, guys, if you get caught in mid, the guy that they sent around the back is going to be a huge problem for you. Odd oh, just taking away all sorts of frags. Guarding off the bomb. We have one player left on the offense, but I don't see him getting anywhere near this. Oh, he's been spotted by the grenade. Radar grenades. Is there anybody down there? I don't know. Throw a grenade down. So three on eight here. Eight rounds left for Lost and Nirvana to take this. And as the score gets wider, it's going to be harder for a comeback. Not just because of the score gap itself, but because of the two-point rule. Oof. That long-range damage, but Farina dealing it off with it fairly effectively. Uh, Puffdar not quite able to deny the bomb plan, but man, two frags for the price of one. He's able to get it in. But when he drops down, he gets, ends up getting completely faced. It's like he takes down two guys. And for some reason, when he drops down, there's two more guys who just aren't <laughs> being taken care of by his teammates. This is so bizarre. We saw that in the last map, too. It's like, Puffdar is, like, doing the right thing. But when he goes down, it's like, where's everybody else? <laughs> yeah, Fairy, I completely agree. How unprofessional of Twitch. Besides, there's uh, transcoders now. You shouldn't have to deal with the spinner. Should be able to drop it down to French quality. I think we have one that low. But now three points between them. <laughs> kind of surprised that message mode 2 is enforced. Ooh. Don't rail your own buddy, buddy. There you go. But feel free to rail the guy who walks right in front of you.
but Puff says he'll be knocked on down there. Eight on six, they're bringing it up here. Keeping it within two gives them a hell of a lot of hope. So two more rounds before the switch. Puftar over the top. We had the plant coming up here. There it is. Puftar diving in. Oh man, he's gonna be right in the middle of this mosh pit. I don't see him surviving all that long. He's able to take down nobody whatsoever there. Again, too soon to overcommit to that, but my god, that rail out is slowly. Beautiful shot. Sub pixel accuracy for sure. Oh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful rocket to deny the defuse. This bomb should be blowing. There we go. I just like how the bomb, compared to like other games, doesn't even explode all that much. Like it has the explosive power of like two grenades. It really doesn't blow up all that much at all. Like, honestly, if you put the bomb in the middle of bomb site A on this map, like right there in the middle of that pavement, like it's not going to hurt anything when it blows up. Might leave a, you know, a scorch mark in the pavement, sure, but it's not really going to do much. Eight on eight, though, they tied it back up. Puffed are getting mad. You know it. Midget, difficult as always to get a beat on. But Puftar really wants him. He's going to pay for that frag with a lot of health, but he's finally going to be able to maybe get this plant. One player left alive here for our Lost in Nirvana. Slow is looking to take him on down. Oh no, he's coming back in. Oh no, okay, nobody's left alive. Okay, never mind. So there's the defuse. And it looks like now we have, once again, a really interesting matchup here. Lost to Nirvana, slowly slipping away points to VVV. Connection, connection. Oh, is somebody lagging? Oh, well, yeah, someone's lagging, but it, they're all on VVV. Like, if anyone should be complaining about ping, it should be VVV, but they've moved ahead by a single point here. Now we have the switch. Oof. Yeah, yeah, Perina wasn't going to be surviving that for very long. <laughs> yeah, at least in like Counter Strike or even Urban Terror, like when the bomb goes off, it's a fucking bomb. This bomb's a party favor. But I'll tie it back up 9 on 9. Sick Monkey with the bomb in hand. Getting a little bit caught up here, but has a good opportunity to drop down. Oh, nice. With Perina out of the picture. They'll make that plant pretty easy, but Slowy, as always, wants to stay up top. And do damage on the bomb as much as possible, but he was a little bit slow. <laughs> getting that last rocket before the bomb was planted, so that makes things extra easy for Sick Monkey and crew. Putting Lost to Nirvana back in the lead by one point, ten to nine. And apologies if you can hear the cough drop, but I'm so dependent on those right now. <laughs> oh, Adam, we start talking about how the bomb is pointless in bomb mode, but he's like, no, life is pointless. <laughs> That escalated way too quickly. Oh, nice rail out of Puftar and Vladerus. Take it on down. That'll leave two up on two. So he wants to dive in for this. But it's not going to happen. It'll be Puftar securing that frag and taking away 11 points. So now they have that two-point lead. Victory is in sight for Lost of Nirvana. So I suck sorry with the bomb. We don't see him with the bomb very often. Kind of sneaking through here. But oh, look at this. Perina's ready for him. Already doing a lot of damage. This choke point is going to be almost impossible to come through. Perina's is going to be able to take him on down and deny the bomb from getting anywhere near a bomb site. 
Ironically, though, that means that the bomb is actually close to something that it could actually damage. Like the wall to the void. Puffthar kills Puffthar. News at 11. But two on two. Abe is looking for a Maria right now to help him out. Bomb carry fragged once again. NTC killing himself. Nicely done. So that's one more point between them. NTC with the bomb. Probably probably a better choice than Isaac Sorry. Sorry, Isaac Sorry's been doing great, but uh that really wasn't the thing to do with the bomb there. So puffed up with bomb coming into it. He's got the drop almost. Really nice frags either way, but it's gonna come down to the plant, but that plant makes him way too easy of a target right now. Midget left alive and he's able to tie back up one eleven to eleven. Jeez. Hey Sponge, maybe you and I should duel in Warsaw sometime. We could be like the two guys in America who play Warsaw. Or at least until the Steam release. I I'm honestly interested to see how that's handled. Like, just putting it on Steam isn't going to do much, but it opens some possibilities. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Nicely done frags from Puffdar, but with 11 health we'll see what he can do against Vladerus. Not much. It's going to be Slowy trying to get this defuse here. It's going to be all the pressure on him right now. Ooh, never mind. Isaac Sorry getting a beautiful rail on him. And there we have it. This should be an easy defuse. Midget, really good damage there. There we go. 11 and 12. VVV keeping it tight. I wish I had a beard, Krusty. I really do wish I did. Can I eat your beard? Would that be alright? That would feel... That would kind of feel like the right thing to do. Hey, anyway, Puffdar with the bomb. He can hear everybody screaming around the corner, but he doesn't want to go out to where all the scary people are at. He comes in for the last little bit of damage on Ave. Just to take the credit. And take the plant as well, and then he abandons it to take the high road to potentially take down Midget here. Nice. But Prina manages to take down Puffdar. Took three of them to make that happen, but it worked out. Going for the defuse. There it is. 11 on 13. Now VVV two points ahead of Lost in Nirvana. Puffdar with the bomb. But the more we see Puffdar with the bomb, the more frustrated he seems with every move he tries to make. Nothing really seems to click well for him at that point. Everybody ends up at the wrong damn place. So Puffdar can take that Vladerus, but Midget can trade that back up against Sick Monkey. And losing Sick Monkey is not going to be doing Lost of Nirvana any good. My god. Midget's going to be up here, buddy. He's top of the map. He's not quite railable. Oh, but that rocket coming up the stairs, that was a huge opportunity, but Midget with that LG can clean up NTC and maintain the lead. Two more points for them, and they'll be going on to the grand finals. And these will have been the only two maps that Lost Nirvana has lost in this cup. But Puffdar is already down. See, again, like, the more the match goes on, nice grenade, the more the match goes on, the more, like, just useless Puffdar seems to be. Not to his team, but just like uh, everything he tries to do just falls apart. Match point for VVV. Gonna keep my eye on Puffdar here. He's gonna need to turn things back around. They're kind of limping over to Bombside A. He's waiting for the push. Doesn't want to get spammed. But he can't let them get too far ahead. Then anybody who's sweeping through mid is gonna be a problem for him. Like right here. Oh my god. It's like clockwork. There we go. Is that Sit Monkey coming to clear the way for him? Maybe, but Isaac Sari is already down. Odd is going to be very weak here. Puffdar doesn't look like he knows where he wants to be. 30 seconds left on the clock. Three players up on the four, but Odd's weak. Oh my god, Sick is going to be railed on down by Ave. 20 seconds. And Puffdar hasn't done shit this round. 
There's the drop. Slow is alive here. And I don't really expect to see a plan. Now with Puptar being the only one alive, but yeah, here they all come. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Slowly with the last shot there as we move into Grand Finals.